Kevin, correct me if I'm wrong. The kidnappers wanted you to meet them at Joe's Bakery, which is a few streets down from here. And this is the last place that Willie was assumed to be when you found his jacket. And that means he's close by. You two, hold it right there. Put your hands where I can see them. Aren't you that kid we were chasing earlier? Yes, sir. We didn't know you guys were really the police. We thought you were the kidnappers. Besides, we were scared. We didn't know if we could trust you. Anyway, the reason we went to get the money was to help catch the kidnappers and then return the money and hopefully the parents would be so happy that they would give us a reward. Son, do you realize what kind of mess you and your friends have caused? Not to mention that you put a little girl's life in danger. I hope for your sake and the sake of your friends that she's not dead. If she's dead, then my friends are dead too. What did you say? Uh, look, officer, the boy knows that what he and his friends did was dumb. But you can't blame them for wanting to help. It looked more like they were trying to help themselves with the money. Who are you anyway? What business do you have with this kid? My name is Roger. I'm a detective. And Kevin here is my client. I guess it must suck to be a detective right now. Taking on kids as clients can't pay much. Or maybe the kid was going to share some of that ransom money with you. I'm also curious to know how these kids knew when to call Mrs. Wilson's house to find out about the location of the money. You two can have a piss contest later. Whatever the case, your client is accompanying us downtown. So if you don't mind, please step aside and allow us to do our job before I run you in for obstructing justice. You're gonna have to do a lot of explaining when we get to the station. Look, officers. We are here to try and find my friends and the little girl. What do you mean looking for your friends, officer? What happened to them? They got ca caught by the kidnappers when we were running from you. Look, if you guys would let me do my job, then everything will come together in a few minutes. Myra, where are you? Hurry, come quick! What the hell are you yelling about? The police are outside talking to a man and a kid. They were standing in the same area where we grabbed the- Did the police see you at all? No, but the man and the kid saw me when I was crossing the street. The man with the boy is that P.I. that's been on the news. Did they act like they knew you? No, but... Exactly. They don't know you. They have no idea who the hell you are. Did they see you come here? No, I don't think so. Well then, calm down and stop pacing the floor. Maybe the police stopped them for something else. Look, it's bad enough that you didn't get the money. But don't ever come in this house again screaming and scaring my child. Do you understand me? Good. Now, don't you have to be at work or something? In Paco, don't go to work acting strange. Look, I might be able to locate the kidnappers if you give me a chance, but I need Kevin's help. And also, there was a suspicious man that walked by earlier. My instincts was telling me there seemed to be something guilty about him. Where is this man? I don't know. Well, I guess your case will have to wait. Now, if you don't mind, could you join us downtown to fill us in on this theory of yours and tell us all you know? Officer, please. Time is of the essence right now. Those kids could still be alive, and we have to do something now to save them. You can go peacefully or you can be dragged. Either way, you're coming with us now.
The kidnappers called Kevin earlier, and they want him to be the one to bring them the money tomorrow at a specific disclosed location. If you allow Kevin to make the drop, then you can follow whoever is behind all of this and bust everyone. You know I could have run you in for obstruction of justice and assault. Just to let you know, you will be required to volunteer 30 hours of your time for community service work on the weekend. Since you want to assist in the apprehension of the criminals, I'm giving you a chance. One of you guys call Mrs. Wilson. Tell her that we know where the money is and we should have her daughter back by tomorrow evening. I'll see you tomorrow. I got some leads to follow up on. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll take good care of you. And if I were you, I'd order lots of takeout, since they'll be paying. Thanks, Mr. B. I really appreciate everything you're doing for my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh yeah, I got a taste of some lobster. I could have sworn that that was the man from the apartments. Nah. What would he be doing here? Yeah, but my gut is telling me that there is something here that will be a link to what's going on. Maybe it was someone else. Hey, what are you doing in there? Who are you? Uh, me? Uh, I was just looking for a janitor to clean up this mess I made. Have you seen the janitor? I hate to just leave a mess unattended. Yeah, try the break room. There always seems to be a janitor in there. As a matter of fact, I think Paco just went in there. Uh, thanks, officer. Hey, you! Stop! Yes? Your left shoe is untied. Oh, thanks. Also, when you go in there, could you tell him to come see me later? My trash needs to be emptied. Tell him it's room 216. Uh, sure. No problem. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Yes, what's up? Are you heading for the break room? Yeah, why? Uh, if you see a janitor in there, could you let him know that room 216 needs their trash emptied? Sure, no problem. Uh, also, which way is the staff parking? It's not this way. You gotta go back down this hall until you pass the double green door. The next door is the stairwell. Go up two flights of stairs and that will be the level for employee parking. Thanks. Sure, don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> 